Welcome to Everything Cart Fishing. I'm down here at my syndicate water to do a five night session so hopefully I can catch something. Let's go. I had one on the tiger nut bait. Um, this one's just under 17 pound. Hopefully I'll get a bigger one. I've got him. I've got him. Yes. <laughs> what a fish! The syndicate waters that I was fishing are actually a complex of three lakes um, and one, one of them has got carp to sort of £25, one's got carp to sort of £36 and the, the, the one that I was actually planning on fishing the most um, has got carp to sort of £37. Past experience on that on those venues is varied. Um, I did join it a long time ago, and I had cup sort of twenty pound. I didn't really catch anything bigger, and I sort of left. But I rejoined last year, and I had a really good year. I had I beat my B, PB Common, and I beat my PB Mirror on there, um, and caught lots of twenties and lots of other fish along the way, but never really got to one of them big fish. So I, I was planning on fishing this year in spring. But because of the lockdown and because of the restrictions and the problems with the toilets up there, um, I couldn't really get down. They started, so I started opening back up again, so I got down there for my first session. And I had five nights ahead of me to try and catch something. I started the session on Tuesday night. I got there about an hour or so before dark. It was really late, but I managed to get the swim that I wanted. Um, I also saw the odd show in the swim, the odd carp sort of top in, which made me think that that was definitely the swim I wanted to be in. I got the rods out, I rushed a little bit to get them out, I found the spots I wanted, I kind of knew where I was going to go uh, in the swim. Uh, I got some bait over them and just got them in as quick as possible. I got up really early Wednesday morning expecting to get a bite, um, but all I got was this rolling fog across the lake, which was really nice. And I did see the odd fish, the odd, odd one jump, but nothing really happened. And the sun just rose higher and higher, and then eventually nothing happened, and it went very quiet. Yeah, I just expected to get a carp, and I didn't. But these are very hard waters. In the afternoon I decided to go for a little walk to see if I could see any carp and I wasn't expecting to see anything really because it's quite a hard lake. Uh, I came down on this little end uh, part of the lake and uh, there was quite a few carp sunning themselves so I thought I'd have a go on the surface so I got a bit of bread and uh, I tried flicking it at them and trying to see if they would take it but uh, they mostly just spooked from it, they weren't interested. So I sort of gave up really quickly on that. Late afternoon I decided to go back to my swim, sort out my rigs and my baits, get the rods back out and uh, I just sat back in, under the brolly and just chilled out really for the afternoon. It was quite a hot afternoon, I, I, I didn't think anything was going to happen. Uh, I was expecting anything to happen sort of early morning, maybe a bite in the evening but more likely to be in the morning. Um, I just sort of enjoyed the uh, warm weather and just sat back and relaxed really. Yeah, so um, Thursday morning came around and nothing really happened. I, I couldn't believe that I didn't, two mornings in a row, nothing had happened. Um, I was sort of thinking, what, what was I going to do? And I started, decided to leave the rods out a bit longer, up until sort of 10 o'clock, while I sort of thought about where I've seen the most fish, when I've been there, maybe I'll move, maybe I'll figure out what I was going to do. Um, and it got to about, I think it was about nine o'clock it got to. And I just I just pretty much gave up on the fact I was going to get a bite. Out of nowhere, I had a take. I couldn't believe it. I ran out and grabbed the rod as quick as possible because I knew there was a couple of weed beds. I knew it was just going to get in there straight away and it did. I managed to get out quite quick and uh, get it to the right of me and then it just couldn't, it just wouldn't stop going. It just kept on splashing around and it was trying to get under this tree, trying to get back in the weed bed and eventually I managed to get in the net 
and uh, it was a really nice fish. It didn't look particularly big, but I was happy. <sighs> oh, I was uh, thinking about a move, but in the end, I had one on the tiger nut bait. Um, this one's just under 17 pound. Hopefully I'll get a bigger one, but uh, this is a lovely fish. Right, let's get him back. I had that really nice carp, it was a lovely fish. It actually came about because I actually changed my hook bait. Um, I started off with boilies and uh, I'm fishing this particle mix with boilies in it, but uh, I kind of thought I needed to put particle on. I've caught on tiger nuts before on the lake. So I fished a tiger nut and plastic corn, uh, wafter, and uh, it got me a really quick bite considering how hard the legs are, um, at least I had a fish. Really, I thought, there's no point in me moving, I've had one, I could catch another. So I decided to just repeat what I did the day before, put some bait in, I'm gonna have a wander and see if I can find anything on the surface to, for an opportunity, just continue the day that I did before. It was a really quiet evening and uh, even, even more silent than morning, it was absolutely dead. I didn't see any kind of jumping, I didn't see any showing, it was silent. I realised that I had done the wrong thing and I should have moved, but there wasn't really many opportunities to move anywhere, I didn't really see that much. So I decided to go for a walk um, around the lake to see if I could move. I had a look, didn't see anything, and I was thinking what I'm going to do next, I have no idea. Um, there is another lake on the complex, so I decided to go and have a little look, see what was see if there's any swims free on there and see if I can see any fish. I wandered um, on the opposite side of the lake and I saw a load of carp on the surface and I also saw there was two swims free which are the, some of the best swims on, the, on that lake. Um, so I thought I might as well move. So I went back to my swim and I packed away as quick as possible and uh, I actually got over there really quick. I got, it took me like five or ten minutes to get round there with all my stuff. I got into the swim and I, caught, I kind of chose the sort of corner swim because uh, I saw a lot of carp uh, in the pads and in the reeds on the far side. So I got set up. I decided actually to go around the opposite side and see if I can catch one on the surface because there was a few cruising in and out the pads. I had one kind of opportunity but then, then nothing really. I didn't, after that, there wasn't really much opportunities and they sort of weren't as many of them on the surface. So I went back to the swim and I got my rigs all sorted and I I did lead around um, before I went and had a little stalk um, and found a lovely gravel bar between two pads so I decided to get some bait on that get my rigs out for the evening. And later that evening, I actually got a take out of nowhere. I could not believe that I had a take that quick. Um, I ran out to pick it up, and I saw it splashing around near the pads, and then suddenly it just swam straight in a weed bed. I managed to get it back, and there was just the rig in there. I was absolutely gutted. I lost the fish, but it didn't really matter too much, because I kind of knew I was going to get more bites on that lake. There is quite a few fish in this lake. Um, so I managed to get the rig back out onto position, perfect. And after 8 o'clock I actually got a take. Um, I wasn't expecting to get another take so quick, but I managed to get this one away from the pads. It did go in a weed bed, but I sort of gradually managed to get it back. I did actually fill this fish all the way through, and uh, eventually I got in the net with a massive load of weed. It took me ages, I had to get in there and pull it all out, and eventually I could see the prize and it was a lovely carp that looked around about 20 pound. Um, I weighed it and it was just under. Oh, look at that. I've just lost the carp, but I've managed to turn it around by getting a, well, just under, just under 20 pound this one. But a uh, bit of a weird looking fish. It's got a bit of a odd gob, but a nice fish. Oh, right, let's get him back. I had literally half an hour before it went dark to 
to get the rods back out. I've got it out perfect. Uh, I decided to put some more bait over the top, a couple of spawns, just to just to put more bait in because I've had a, a few bites on it. Nothing really happened during the night and nothing really happened in the morning. I was thinking I'd put too much bait out or the fish have sussed the spot. When it got to 9 o'clock I was kind of expecting to get a bite by then so I decided to bring the rods in, check them, fresh, put some fresh hook baits on and cast them back out and they both went out perfect. They went first go on the right on the gravel bar and it was lovely. Sometimes recasting can actually get you a bite. My tactic actually paid off. A half ten, I just really wrench and take. As soon as I picked up into it, I knew it was a big fish. I could see it on the surface splashing around. Um, it was actually went above the weed bed, which was really good. But the line went straight for a weed bed, and it was a big ball on the line. And I was trying to get it off, and couldn't. But the fish was really going for it. Um, it managed to go round the corner and actually weed me up twice. But I managed to get it out and I was just praying that I was going to get it in. I knew it was a big fish. Oh, no. um, it did kick me up and trying to go through the other line at one point, but I managed to get it, steer it round and get it straight in that net. I've got him! I've got him! That's a decent fish. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh. That's like a good 20. It's 25? Good 20. God, it's got to be a good 20. Look at this fish. It's a uh, 28 pound and 10 ounces. What a lovely fish. Get on the target nuts. That's what I gotta say. What a lovely fish. Look at that. That's a chunk. Oh, yeah. Game back. Yes! <laughs> what a fish. I was so shaky when I had that fish. I couldn't couldn't believe that I'd beaten my PB and had such a big chunky fish. Especially to show on camera, I really wanted something to show on, on the videos and stuff and I was so praying that I was going to get something decent and uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was, I was in shock, <laughs> couldn't believe that I had this fish and yeah, amazing. So after I had that really amazing carp, I thought, get the rogs, I was at uh, rogs. <laughs> Get the rogs back in, yeah. Get those rogs back in. It's all about the rogs, you know. Uh, um, so after I had that amazing fish, I knew that the rainfall was going to come in. So I thought I might as well get the rog rogs. Rogs. <laughs> <laughs> that amazing carp. I wanted to get the rods back out. I knew the rain was going to come in, and normally I'd leave the rods in and bait up. But I thought, no, I'll get the rods back in straight away, and. Uh, got up a tree and it was really good fun lost the whole rig up the tree and I was gutted on that one because uh, yeah I just had amazing fish on it and then lost up a tree it was really good yeah I enjoyed that one but I managed to tackle back up it took me about two casts to get it back in it was a bit windy and and the rain started coming in so I managed to get a few more spawns over and uh, managed to jump back in the brolly <laughs> and uh, yeah and the rain came. Eventually, the rain eased off 
I managed to get out, out of the brolly and have a little look around. I did actually start seeing a few carp on the surface and I actually saw a few jumping out close to my spot as well and I thought, all oh, this is really good. Um, there could be an opportunity on the surface or I might get another bite. And then it just absolutely came down. The heavens opened and it chucked it down. Absolutely chucked it down. I thought, oh no, <laughs> so I had to jump back in the brolly and uh, just wait out really. I just had to keep waiting until the rain just eased off. Yeah, so nothing really happened late evening. After all that rainfall, it just, it just ruined it really. The temperature dropped and didn't really get anything during the night. It was a very quiet night. I did have a little line bite that I thought it might turn into a take because it was quite up and down. Um, and I had a little look and nothing really happened. And in the morning, again, nothing happened. It was so quiet, it was cold. Even the robin had his fluff right up because it was so freezing. Uh, the temperature absolutely plummeted in the air. And uh, yeah, nothing happened and get another bite. Slowly packing away at the end, I was thinking back of how that quick changing of baits really paid off and even changing legs really worked as well. That was an amazing end of that session. Catching that 28 pound 10 ounce fish. I did lose one, but it doesn't really matter too much. I had that amazing carp and a PB as well. I'm really happy with the way I think went and uh, I'm hoping that I can continue having really good sessions down at my syndicate water. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Is that right? Yeah.